Alright guys, how's it going? So welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to be talking about getting Windows Internet Explorer 8 back on your Windows 7 operating system because a lot of people are unhappy with Internet Explorer 9. I'm one of them. I got the update sneakily through Microsoft. I didn't see it and un I accidentally installed it and I wanted Internet Explorer 8 back. So I looked for a lot of solutions and you know I tried downloading it. You can't install Internet Explorer 8 back but there is a way around it. It's very simple. Um, for those of you who figured it out that's great. For those of you watching this you haven't and it's just an easy thing we were overlooking. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, Alright now make sure actually before we get started if you have Windows Internet Explorer 9 right now just please go on it download a third party explorer tool like you know something like mozilla firefox google chrome any of them it doesn't matter which one but just make sure and get one install it just in case something goes wrong so you can still access your internet that's very important to always have something for backup just in case this goes wrong so when you install your inter uninstall your internet explorer you're not left in the dark with nothing to get back on the internet so just do that then keep watching this video so here's your desktop, you're going to go to Start, Control Panel, and you're just going to go to Programs, Uninstall a Program. Okay, so a lot of you were probably looking for it here. You were looking through here looking for Internet Explorer 9. Well, you're not going to find it here. You were also going to turn Windows features on and off. And as you see here, I have Windows Internet Explorer 8. This is where you would see 9. So some of the things you've probably looked up told you to uncheck this and turn it off. That's not what you're actually going to do. So you're just going to get out of here. You're actually going to go to View Installed Updates. So this is where you're going to find it. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bigger. So it's I got it in order of name, and you're going to look for I. So I don't have Internet Explorer 8 here, or 9, sorry. I don't have Internet Explorer 9, so I'm not going to see it here. But if you have it, you're going to find it in this list. So what you want to do is find it. When you find it, right-click on it, say Uninstall, and just follow the instructions it's gonna uninstall Internet Explorer 9 it's gonna ask you to restart your computer and that's about it so you're just gonna restart your computer and when you come back if all went well you should automatically have Windows Internet Explorer 8 and the reason being for that is that Windows 7 has default Internet Explorer 8 in it so uh, that's that's really about it so um if that doesn't work what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna upload the files for Internet Explorer 8 and uh, it'll be on my you see now my, now my phone's ringing so uh, it's my girlfriend I'm just gonna take that hold on a sec hello alright we're back and uh, okay stuff was dealt with and uh, anyway what was I saying so I'm gonna upload the files for Windows Internet Explorer 8 and a WinRAR and uh, hopefully if what I just did doesn't work you can just download them put them back in program files but the problem with that is that you will have to remove Internet Explorer 9 the other way by going to here control panel uninstall program then turn Windows features on or off and uncheck that say OK follow the instructions and it will delete Windows Internet Explorer 9 then just copy the files that I'm gonna give you in the WinRAR back to my computer local disk C program files 86 and just copy it back here Internet Explorer so here's mine Internet Explorer 8 and that should also solve your problem but uh, the first step should work anyway so uh, I hope this helped I found it really annoying trying to find out how to do it even though it's something so simple that I finally found and uh, if you have any questions just comment like the video and uh, thanks for watching